Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't e met before, my name is Shiv Hello. If you're coming back then welcome. In today's video, I am reviewing some Beauty Bay skincare. I have picked up a few bits from their range. I was so excited to see that they were launching their own skincare. I am a massive skincare junkie. If you follow me on my Instagram page, Cheeky Self Plug, you'll see that I have post regular skincare videos. I absolutely love skincare. So I was really excited to see Beauty Bay coming out with their own range. It's really affordable as well. So I wanted to really kind of dive in and see see what they've got and test a few products out. So if you'd like to see my kind of thoughts and like feelings on the products, then please carry on watching. In this video, I will be testing it tonight. So it is a Monday night at 11 p.m. I'm about to take off my makeup using the products and I'm gonna use the face mask. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to use it for my morning skincare routine and then an evening and a morning. So we're gonna be really diving in and testing it a few times to really get a feel for it because skincare you do have to kind of use a good few times. They say, to be honest, that you should be using your skincare within 28 days. However, I don't have 28 days to do this video, so I'm gonna be doing it as much as I physically can for you, putting in as much information as I possibly can. So if you'd like to see my thoughts on a Beauty Bay's skincare range, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It means the absolute world. Check me out on Instagram, like I mentioned before. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much, and let's just carry on with the skincare video. Okay, so first step in the kind of process that I have is the Super Jelly Cleansing Gel. Now, I picked up the Skin Introduction Set, which came in a really cute little bag. I've already put that in the bin, and I don't know why I've done that, but it came in like a cute little pharmacy bag. You can see the picture on the website. So, the recommendations are to use the Super Jelly Cleansing Gel, the Skin Fixer Clay Mask, the Skin Hit Soothing Serum, and the Day One Moisturizer. I will be using an exfoliating toner that I bought separately. They didn't come in this set I'll be adding it into the middle so yeah I'm super excited to use this I believe I picked this because it helps with kind of like balancing the skin and calming it down there will be a lot of information in the description box below and on my blog so please go check that out if I do miss anything in this video so we've got the super jelly cleansing gel prebiotic and avocado this one is for rebalancing and refreshing skin and this one is for all skin types so I'm just going to read out all the information on the box the box is really handy and it actually has a lot of information on it which I'm a massive fan of. So it says to cleanse, gently massage one to two pumps onto wet skin in circular motions and then rinse thoroughly with warm water. To remove makeup, use an extra pump and thoroughly massage into dry skin before removing with a warm, damp muslin cloth. Feel smug for not using face wipes. I love that. I love a little bit of like cheeky sass thrown in there. Just some little bits and pieces thrown on the packaging. So cruelty free and vegan, which I love. Targeted ingredients, simple formulas. I'm having a quick scan over the ingredients. I do have quite a good kind of skincare knowledge. I don't have like a degree or anything like that. Um, I do work in skincare in my main non-YouTube job. I've taken up a lot of training and I research my own in my own time as well. So I have picked up some good amount of knowledge, but I am in no way like by any means an expert, just gonna throw that out there. But I do have some information. So I can see the first ingredient in this is water. Second is glycerin, which is a really good hue and meptin. So it keeps things nice and kind of like silky smooth. We've got avocado oil, which is really hydrating. What else? is in there that I can recognize. A bunch of fruit extracts at the bottom. I don't really recognize like the middle section of the ingredients. And I will do little pop-ups and stuff around the screen during the video. And please check out the description box. Like I guys put a lot of effort in the description box for you guys just to make sure there is everything covered. It's suitable for daily use. The only thing it's missing is I don't know if I can use it on my eyes, but I'm going to anyway see what happens. I feel like if it wasn't for your eyes, it would say, don't need to your eyes. Okay, key ingredients, prebiotics. So alpha glucan oligosaccharide functions as a prebiotic supporting the skin's barrier to balance and boost natural defenses. I love that. And avocado oil helps to gently cleanse and moisturize the skin. So let's take my makeup off. I'm gonna start by taking off these lashes and then applying the cleanser. Oh, these are a lot easier to take off than usual. So packaging wise, I know that's not the most important thing about the product, but it actually feels really nice. Just kind of smooth plastic. It says, scan this code for more info about the product and details on how to recycle this bottle. That is cool. That is really cool how they've put that in. Okay, so let's just get started, shall we? Obviously my face is not like wet, but I have got a flannel, so I might squeeze out the water onto my face to make it wet. We are in a limited space here. I'm not at a sink. I'm just gonna squeeze some out into my hands. How many pumps did it say? One to two pumps. Okay, but for, I've got a lot of makeup on, so let's go with like four. I'm just gonna massage this into my face. 
The smell, it smells really, really nice actually. It's nice and soothing. I can definitely smell the avocado oil in it. Let's see if it gets this makeup off. Okay, I feel like it's definitely taken my makeup off. It would work better on a very wet face, but we fortunately don't have that. I might do a little vlog insert of me washing my face in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Isn't that the best part of cleansing where you just look like a raccoon? Not stinging my eyes or anything, which is a good sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I don't have any like water to hand, but I do have my flannel. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So surprisingly it's taken off like my eyeshadow really well. I don't know if I managed to work it into the lashes very well. Ew. Okay, that is my face. I have got like an open spot and I've just made it bleed, but I don't think that's the skincare. I just kind of knocked the top of it off. We are okay. Job that worked really well and I can definitely tell that it'll work a lot better with water. So yeah, very impressed with that so far. I'm gonna use it tomorrow morning in the bathroom with water and I'm bringing you in with me on my phone. So wait for, wait for the rest of the video to see that. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the Skin Fixer Clay Mask, Clay Blend and PHA, Refining and Mattifying Skin. Definitely need a clay mask right now to like pull this out of my chin apply a thin layer onto clean dry skin at least for 10 to 15 minutes or until it feels fully dry scroll instagram binge a show read a book rinse off with warm water and a muslin cloth or you can actually mix it with the serum if you want to which is quite a cool little thing they've added in cruelty free and vegan target ingredients simple formulas i can see citric acid kaolin glycerin i recognize so we've got kaolin and bentonite clay, which is a naturally occurring mineral with absorbent properties to help clarify and decongest pores, which we definitely need around this situation. Right now, I had a little bit of a squeeze earlier, so my chin's looking a bit... I know you shouldn't squeeze, but I just, I just couldn't help it, okay? Um, then we have PHA, so we've got gluconolacetone. It's a polyhydroxy acid PHA which delivers gentle exfoliation helping to promote softer and soothe smoother skin which is very cool. So yeah, I'm going to pop this on. I'm going to pop it on with a like foundation brush. This is the Loella Cosmetics Flawless Foundation Felicia brush if you were interested but any foundation brush will do. Or you can use your fingers. I just prefer to use a brush because I don't like getting it in my nails. Ooh, okay. This is what the mask looks like on the inside. Doesn't really smell of much, but yeah, it looks interesting and I'm ready to scoop this all over my face. A little bit of oil just went on my hand from it, which I'm a bit confused about, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so here we go, I'm gonna apply it. Ooh, it feels very smooth upon first application. Just gonna point that straight out there. Very smooth. Okay, let's just pop this all over my face. This is not like any other clay mask I've used before. It has almost like a pool of oil at the bottom or like stuff there. I don't know like what that is supposed to do, but all I can tell you is that the mask was very soft right now. I'm obviously gonna have a lot more like research into the ingredients once I've done kind of the bulk of this video, so look out for that. The most like pory place on my face is definitely my nose. I'm like really getting in there. It feels like warming going on, which is quite nice. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. You get quite a lot in there, like that's gonna last you a long time. And the expiry date on this is actually six months, so a lot more natural ingredients, um, but I'm gonna get through that, I promise. <laughs> okay, the mask feels very good on my skin. I'm gonna pop back in at 10 minutes just to show you what it looks like once this is kind of dried and then we'll go and wash it off. So this is what the mask looks like now it's dry. I'll zoom you in. It's gone like really gross on my nose. I'm gonna turn down the exposure so you can see. I've got all those little dots on my nose. I'm gonna now wash this off and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I've taken off the face mask. It feels super like really, really clean. It's brought a couple of these guys down here to a head, which is quite a good sign because it's like pulling it out. I'm not gonna pop it. I'm resisting the edge to pop. I can see the little yellow head on this spot right here. So I'm gonna leave that overnight and then just see what it's like in the morning. But other than that, my skin feels super, super smooth and it didn't have that weird kind of like 
tingly feeling when sometimes you wet a clay mask and it does that tingle to your skin, which is really nice. I quite like that. It was very soothing, very easy to wash off as well. I think I've got the most of it off. I can see a little bit on my nose, but we can take that off with the toner. That's no problem at all. So thumbs up from me so far from that face mask. And it's going to last you a long time, which I like. So now moving on to the acid trip, exfoliating toner, AHA and PHA for decongesting and smoothing skin. And then to apply it, you apply to clean skin, avoiding the eye area like it's your ex. <laughs> Either dispense a small amount of the toner into your palms and pat into the skin or saturate a cotton pad with a product and gently wipe. I'm going to use that method. Use daily or two to three times a week if you have sensitive skin. A tingling sensation may be experienced if you have sensitive skin. Okay, so key ingredients for this, AHA, alpha hydroxy acids such as glycolic and lactic acid, chemically exfoliate the skin to refine, help brighten and improve uneven skin tone. PHA, which was the same thing I believe that was in the clay mask, helps to deliver gentle exfoliation, helping to promote softer and smoother skin. So I've used a few glycolic toners before, so my skin's kind of used to glycolic acid. I know if your skin's not used to it, it's good to kind of start it off slowly. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. I'm very excited to try this actually. I got this separate to the set because it wasn't in the set. This is what it looks like inside. It's got a really cool topper. So you open it up and like the top of it comes loose and then you pump it onto the cotton pad. That is really cool. I like little things like that. That's just a really cool idea. Nice, simple packaging. So let's give this a go. always do behind the ears girlies now i'm going to take another cotton pad i feel like i want to go in again i really like the bottle the way it like opens and closes i think that's such a good idea i'm not feeling any like tingling so i guess that means i don't have sensitive skin That feels super nice. Give it a fan. Oh, that's so refreshing. We have the Skin Hit Soothing Serum. There's a few serums. I can't remember all of them. This is a soothing one with niacinamide. Niacinamide. It's a really good, like, clarifying ingredient and copper for tackling excess oil and clogged pores. Apply one to two drops directly onto the skin. You can also mix it with your moisturizers and mask, which is good. Cruelty free and vegan as per usual. 10% niacinamide, which helps reduce the buildup of excess has sebum which often leads to clogged pores. Copper has a character character restrict. Oh my god, why can't I pronounce that word? Blue Lagoon colour and helps reduce sebum production. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over the face. I absolutely love a serum. Okay, I'm just gonna massage that into the skin. Oh, it smells really good. I can't describe that smell. That is lovely. I'm just gonna work that into the nose. In the forehead. This feels really smooth. I like this serum and it doesn't feel sticky. I'm not a big fan of serums that have that like tack to it straight away. This kind of like settles after a little bit of a while then it has the tack which is quite nice i don't like it when it just dries straight away next up and last step is the day one moisturizer with ginseng and squalane i know squalane very well it's basically derived from olives it's something that you have very similar into your skin that's easily absorbed ginseng is an amazing like brightening ingredient so indian ginseng it helps to protect skin from screen emitted light which can affect skin's vitality which i'm on a computer and a phone all the time olive squalane a non-greasy oil which helps helps hydrate the skin. Apparently this is a really good makeup primer as well and protects your skin against pollution. Smooth over the face and under eye area, which I'm very surprised about because a lot of moisturizers you can't take around the eyes. So that's interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go pop the, go ahead and pop that on. This is for normal, oily, and combination skin types. They did have a rich moisturizer on their website, which I wanted to try as well. However, most of the stuff I wanted to try was in this set, so I picked up this one instead. And if I do really like this, I might end up getting the richer moisturizer. Okay, so this is what it looks like, similar bottle to the cleansing gel. That'll do. Oh, it sm smells like a spa, oh my God. God, that's amazing. I'm going to double check if these products are fragrance because that moisturiser, wow. This one smells so, like, soothing. Oh, wow. Yep, loving that already, I can tell. Give myself a little facial massage. Oh, 
Okay, so love a fill of that moisturiser. It does dry down to a bit of a tap, which I guess could be quite nice for underneath makeup. As you can see, it's a little bit like sticky. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Not my personal favourite. I like something a little bit richer, so maybe the rich moisturiser would be better for me. But I do really like this so far. So I'm going to go ahead and go to bed now and in the morning. So thanks to the power of editing, I am going to show you what it's like using the rest of the range in the morning. So as in everything beside the clay mask I'll be using in the morning and then running through how I feel about my skin in the morning so I shall see you in a second thanks to the power of editing one two three good morning so I don't know how this is gonna fit in the frame splashing water everywhere I'm in my bathroom don't know how good the sound's gonna be look at the lighting though natural highlight so this is how my skin is looking this morning if you can see that i'm just using the natural light from the sun I've just wet my face the spots like they look very red on camera but they don't definitely definitely have gone down in size overnight which is good this one here came to a complete head this morning in the shower the top of it just knocked off so that's all good this one here they've gone a little bit like dry so i just need to exfoliate so i'm going to use my flannel once i cleanse my face to kind of like get the dead skin off so i'm going to go in with the cleansing gel I'm just gonna run the water okay, find the tap. okay so I'm just gonna wet my face a little bit do this properly this time last night I obviously was sat at my desk so I'm just gonna squeeze a couple of pumps of this out okay I'm just going to massage this into the skin I do absolutely love the smell of this stuff I could smell the avocado I like that really nice thick calming the smell. I feel like I want to add a little bit more water. My tap downstairs in the bathroom takes so just to get like actually hot. It's just the one tap so I'm going to for a little bit. Feels super soft the same as yesterday. I'm now going to go ahead and take this off. Okay so I have wet my flannel. Um, which will help get the dead skin off these little bits. I'm just going to take this off the face. Day number two of Beauty Bay Skincare. Hello, cheek I never knew was there. Washing your face in the morning, by the way, is also so important. Like all the dead skin on your pillow, the sweat and stuff when you sleep. Like I feel like even if you shower, it just doesn't get it off your face. The texture of my skin, though, I don't know if you can see looks super smooth this morning and I feel like I look a little bit more glowy. I don't know, what do you think? Okay, I am now going to take you back into my bedroom and then we are going to tone, put serum on and moisturise up. Here we are. So I've just taken down my hair, given it a brush. I like did the mermaid waves yesterday, so this looks a little bit crazy, but I'm into it. So I'm gonna leave it there, just tuck that behind my ears. So now we're just gonna go straight on to that toner. I've got a cotton pad ready. Got quite a lot to do today, so I wanna get on fairly quickly. So I'm just going to apply some to the cotton pad. I really, really am a massive fan of this style of bottle. I think that's such a cool little idea and I feel like it prevents like any spills, which is good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep this all across the face. I love a good toner. I feel like they actually make such a difference in your skincare routine. Main focus, of course, is that chin. If you have a subscriber of mine for a while, the chin is always an issue with me. Up here, all good. Down here? Oh no, I feel like it's down to genetics as well, but whatever. So I'm just gonna tone all across my skin. And then we're going next in with the Skin Hit Soothing Serum, which has that like nice blue tint to it. And then I'm just gonna pop a few drops onto my face to massage that in. And then finally we're going in with a day one moisturiser that has the ginseng and squalene in it. Taking like a pump and a bit of that. Apply that all over. Really like this moisturiser. I really want to try the rich one now. I've tried this. I feel like the rich one would be good for like a night cream. 
This one I keep forgetting you can take around the eye area, which just feels so alien to me. Because usually face creams you shouldn't take around the eye area, but this one you can. So there you go. Really, really like this moisturiser. It just feels so like soothing on the skin. Okay, so this is day two of using Beauty Bay skincare. So far, so good. I feel like my skin looks a lot brighter just over one night, and it's definitely brought this kind of section, which I feel like is down to the toner, if I'm honest, and because of like glycolic acid and all of that kind of thing, which really just helps to like bring it out. But I feel like it'll be interesting to see what how this goes after a few uses of using it. But so far, so good, and I feel like my skin just naturally just avoid this look like ignore this area I feel like from here upwards it looks a lot like brighter so yeah so far so good I think the next time I'm gonna do a little insert obviously will be at night time so <sighs> power of editing let's go Hello, so it is a few days later now and I have only been using Beauty Bay skincare for my night routine and my morning routine. I just keep forgetting to film it. It's been like, I'd say, I want to say like four to six six days maybe a week that I've been trying it out and so far I am loving it I feel like my chin has really died down for the rest of my skin because obviously not everyone has hormonal acne like me I've just washed my face which is why it's a little pink but the rest of my skin does feel like super smooth and it looks a little bit more even which is good so I'm gonna use I've used the cleansing gel just now in the bathroom to wash my face as you can see it has gone down a little bit the toner has gone down a lot more I get through toner very quickly but I'm gonna go ahead and use use that now with you so I'll just kind of put some on the cotton pad I do love a good toner and I do definitely get through them so quick I probably use way too much but it's okay um so yeah I've been loving the toner I feel like it really kind of gets into all the holes and just cleans them right out I feel like black heads on my nose have kind of gone down a little bit um, I do just have a very pory nose is it really weird that I want to get my nose waxed <laughs> like just here I have loads of like baby hair and I feel like I want to rip it out but yeah, I'm just going to tone my face. And this isn't exactly the most like glamorous section of the video. I've just had a shower. But I'm not filming any makeup tutorials today. I'm purely just filming the end of this video. So I'm not really making much of an effort. I just kind of want to chillax today. I've got a little track suit on. Got some Primark joggers and this Nice, if you can see that. Okay, so I'm all toned up there. And then I'm just gonna go into the serum, which I've actually really been loving. And I feel like out of everything, this and then the toner has made the biggest difference in the routine. I feel like toners are just so important to really like help close down the pores, restore the pH balance of your skin, remove any like debris and everything like that. But yeah, I do love a good toner. I'm just gonna pop some of the serum on. I've been loving this. I feel like it is really soothing, hence the name. And it I feel like it has really like just calmed down my chin which is good so far like the texture is really nice I like how it doesn't dry down straight away um, I'm not a big fan of serums that like dry down straight away to the stickiness I like to be able to move it for a little bit and like really work it into the skin that's just my like personal preference on skincare and I just remember that I didn't tell you my skin type at the beginning of the video so I used to think I was really oily because I get spots however I'm actually normal oil production in the forehead and then dehydrated on the rest of my face and that is my skin type and then I just get hormonal breakouts on my chin so I'm just gonna press that into the skin now it's got a little bit of a tack then I'm going to take the moisturizer this is the day at one and moisturizer which I've also been loving I'm gonna take about a pump and a half and I think this is really soothing as well it feels super creamy and it just like it's calming down the skin I really want to try the rich moisturizer of this as well and I like how you can take it under the eyes I think that's really nice give myself a little eye massage Okay, so that is all done. Freshly applied. Quick synopsis on the products. The face mask, which is in the bathroom, I can't wait to get up and go and get it. I really liked. I'm definitely going to try that out again. I like the fact that it was slightly oily as well, so it didn't feel too drying on the skin. It also didn't have that weird sort of sensitivity where sometimes if I use a clay mask and I go to kind of put the flannel down to wash it off, it almost does like a kind of burning, not burning, like a tickly kind of 
prickly sensation but that one didn't do that at all which I really liked and I felt like it really kind of like sucked all of the gross dirt out of my pores. The cleanser is really lovely it's definitely a very mild cleanser which is very good so this is for all skin types I believe this is the only cleanser that they have. Very gentle on the skin it smells super nice and just really soothing as well. Cleans your skin I feel like if you're wearing thick makeup though you will definitely have to double cleanse it's just something to bear in mind I don't think it's like a one step cleanser it's definitely like you really do have to like work it in but if you add water and then more of a cleanser that you can get a deep clean and putting it over your eyes is absolutely fine which is always a winner in my books I prefer a cleanser that you can take over the eyes for the toner love the toner I just feel like it's super soothing and it really just kind of feels like it's getting in there so when I take it over here and I take it over like maybe a spot or something I can feel like just going and like just kind of calming that down. AHA and PHA are really good at cleaning out your skin. So yeah, I really like the toner and I love the bottle that it comes in as well. I know that's not the most important thing of the product, but yeah, big win for me. The serum, I feel like, the serum I actually believe out of all of these is my favorite product. I feel like this is the one that's really soothing the skin, hence the name Soothing Serum. And it's got niacinamide and I can't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I know that just really kind of calms the skin down, cleans the pores out, that kind of thing. I will have more information in the description box below, so please check that out as well and then the copper which helps to refine texture but I thought this has really kind of smoothed out my skin. The moisturiser is lovely and I also love how big the bottle is I feel like that's a really generous size because I feel like some moisturisers nowadays are like only like 30 mils, whereas this is 125 mils. so it's going to last you a really long time so big fan of this as well, it's super gentle and it goes really nicely under makeup, it doesn't bubble up or anything like that. So yeah beauty based skincare is a massive thumbs up from me. I'm really enjoying all of the products and I will continue to use them on days that I'm not filming skincare videos for Instagram because I do like to experiment with my skincare on my Instagram page so please definitely go check that out if you do want to see some fun skincare videos occasionally I'll put like tips and things like that and like descriptions of ingredients in when I have the time to write in the description box below and in the Instagram post but yeah definitely check that out um, I've been absolutely loving these products definitely a big thumbs up for me you can go ahead and check them out down below I'll leave a link down in the description box but yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you made it this far well done I have no idea how long this video is going to be so congratulations for making it this far through the video if you did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it means the absolute world and if you want me to do like more kind of like skincare reviews or if you just have any video requests in general then leave them in the comments below I'd really appreciate it it'd be good to know what kind of videos you want to see from me and thank you so much for watching I shall see you next time bye which is I'm still recording an Instagram video whoops okay so I'm refreshing skins skins Cruelty fee and vegan, which cruelty fee, all skin types apply to skin. Uh, I know that's not the most.